Okay guys, I'm here today with Yuri Simões, in my opinion one of the toughest guys in Jiu Jitsu, I have competed against him, he was one of my toughest opponents as well, and a huge pleasure for me to be here with him, and uh, he's gonna show us here one of his favorite passing techniques for no gi. He won the ADCC twice, what's crazy hard to win, especially in his division where all the best guys are, and uh, most of the times I watch him competing, he's always playing a top game, very very aggressive, and uh, let's see like one of his favorite positions that he used to pass in no gi. So let's do there it. All right, guys. So this is uh, something that happens a lot in no gi. Uh, knee shield, half guard, inverse lahiva. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of have this control here. My arm's gonna go behind. I'm gonna kind of put my weight forward here. I'm gonna bring my leg and kick it back and place my knee behind. Uh, the top leg, his top leg here, and kind of like over his bottom leg. Right now, I'm like gonna cover the gap and like find that under hook there, transferring my weight even further over that leg. I can follow with the under hook there, or I can hold arm and head control there. My goal here is really just to smash. If I'm dealing with like a leg lock guy, someone that I know that is gonna scramble, I'm gonna remain with my leg protected here with that hook behind his uh. uh knee joint. If I'm dealing with someone that like he's not like uh, doesn't play a lot of invert game or doesn't go a lot for the legs, I can actually drop the leg on the ground there and put my weight forward. Sometimes I like to just uh, keep the head and the arm here and like go forward and continue going all the way until like I have that arm attack there. I like to explore the grips that I get. A lot of people uh, get a good grip, a good on the hook and then once they progress it for, for, for the position, they kind of let it go. If I have an underhook, I like to explore it until I like, maybe use a submission for it. So if I'm here, if I'm doing, like dealing with someone that likes to invert, then I'm just gonna pass it behind to that side there. And I'm gonna use that underhook again to like, roll him there and maybe start going to his back and stuff. So, the main thing here guys, is to like secure this position here and put like your pressure, like my shoulder is really heavy on his top leg there so that I can like throw my leg back. If I'm like kind of light on his leg here, yeah, I won't have like stability to kick my leg out. So I really want to like drop my weight on that leg, kind of like smashing the top leg, bringing the leg close to allow me to kick it back and place that in between. Again, if I'm not really concerned with my legs being attacked, I don't mind going the underhook and dropping the leg on the ground, uh, underhooking the head and going to the mouth all the way until I maybe can find an arm attack there. So guys, very cool position here because I can see that Yuri when he is here, he's feeling himself very comfortable and now his goal is to kick this leg back to go to kind of like a folding pass. So once he does that, what I really like it here that's kind of different than everyone I have seen is like most of the times people get the other hook just controlling the hip over here, right? The way he's doing, he's going with his hand all the way up on my shoulder, okay? So it's a very tight under hook here, look, I can't move. And now he has all these other options here, look, he could pass this side, he could advance to the mount, he can protect like leg locks and everything. So pretty much like once he gets here, I'm in huge trouble. So only thing that I really liked a lot that I, I, was a new detail for me was this underhook here on the shoulder. And uh, I see you competing all the time and he gets on this position all the time. And look, I, here I don't have any option. If I move anywhere I move here, I'm in trouble. So it's very important to remember too, I don't want to stand tall here because uh, especially when he's a big guy, has strong legs, if you open his hip there, I might get swept or get my leg attacked. So it's very important that once you land on this position here, you want to drop your head here so you're more stable on top. Now no matter if he like tries to open there, it's going to be pretty hard. Even if I'm here, as long as I'm really putting my weight on him, that's better. I don't want to stand up tall here in this position. It might be risky. Now if my hook is behind his leg, that's fine. Like if my leg is here, that's when I'm in danger to being of being swept, right? So I can hang up right if my hook is yeah, this detail was yeah behind the leg there. I can kind of hang a little uh, hang a little taller here. 
But once I drop these, I want to stay low with my head, either on the same side here, going with the underhook on the head, or if I go on the underhook on the arm, I want to stay on the other side. But mainly, I want to keep them smashing, keeping my weight down there. Yeah, very cool, because those are the little details that we can't see, you know, it's kind of like invisible. So, I think nobody would pay attention to this hook too much, right? So, you see, like, Yuri, when he's up, he has the hook. When he doesn't have the hook, he stays very low, so he doesn't give me the chance to go to the leg locks and all this stuff. So, very good one. Thank you, Yuri. Thank you, Bernardo. Valeu. Valeu.